Yeah, exactly. So when we experience allergies, our allergies are acting up. We might be sneezing or itching or coughing. But for some of our pets, allergies are not always easy to spot. And Dr. Safe left untreated, it could snowball into something worse. Later on down the road, you can have a dog that really is miserable um, during their, their, their allergy season. Here in Arizona, the flowers and trees are in full bloom causing allergies to flare, especially for our pets. Definitely the allergy season for dogs this time of year. Um, the most important thing is to notice it. According to Nationwide Insurance, allergies are the most common reason for vet visits. Seasonal allergy, we tend to experience it upper respiratory. Dogs is much more of a whole body. The typical type of allergies we see are skin allergies. We might see uh, a sore skin, um, sometimes actual itchy, like they're actually scratching, but sometimes we see something that maybe a lay person doesn't associate with, with allergies, say licking of their front feet, um, ear infections. And if left untreated, these symptoms can create secondary issues for our furry friends. Oftentimes allergies are progressive. They will continue to get worse. What allergies will do is predispose this dog's skin to uh, infection, essentially, whether it be with bacteria that naturally lives on the skin or fungus that naturally lives on the skin. So what may have just started as an itchy dog and allergy can become a skin infection, which requires treatment. Bottom line is the best thing you can do if you think your dog has allergies, take them to the vet. The first and best thing to do is to go see a vet if you can. Um, there are multiple things that can cause allergies, but also different things that can look like allergies that maybe aren't. Okay, so as diligent pet owners, we need to take some notes, show mm -hmm. up to the vet prepared. Yes, so some questions or some things that you should know about is your pet's age because younger pups might be uh, more vulnerable to flea infections and things. And then when the itchiness started, also if they've had history of fleas and patterns in their environment yeah. or food. Yeah. So those are all questions and things you should know um, if you do think that your pet may be experiencing allergies mm. and then when you bring them to the vet. But you want to bring them in sooner than later, definitely. Yeah, and the food insensitivity can be an issue as well Especially and I think that stink net <laughs> that drove everyone crazy those little yellow bugs yes and they're going around yeah. so I mean allergies are in full bloom yeah. so the dogs are right <laughs> at that level with all the wildflowers exactly exactly <laughs> so just something to be cautious yeah. of yep but Michaela thank you thanks Jamie